Hello everyone, welcome to part 94 of Laravel 9 series in which we are creating the multi vendor e-commerce website. So we will continue working on the product detail page and in this video we are going to work on the similar products functionality. Okay, let's start. Here we can see the detail page uh, is almost complete. Only two things are left now. Similar products and recently viewed items. Okay, so in this video we are going to do similar products functionality and in the next video we are going to work on the recently viewed items, recently viewed products. And after that we are going to work on the add to cart functionality then our detail page will get over and we will move to the card page. And after that we will work on the login registered user as well. Okay, so uh, let's start with the similar products functionality. So we are going to update the detail function uh, for this one. So here uh, we are going to show those products that are similar to this one. Means that belongs to the same category. Means that belongs to this men's uh, men uh, men uh, category or we can say uh, some particular uh, category. If I will open the t-shirts then those products must belong to t-shirt. Like if I will open this product then in the similar products these products must come other products other products of the same category okay i hope, hope it's clear okay so now see if i open the t-shirts category this product belongs to the t-shirts category then the other t-shirts products will come so that means the similar products okay as the name suggests it is similar to the name okay we have opened the t-shirts product so we are going to show other t-shirts here in similar products like if you open some denim then other denim will come here so uh, because the user if if checking one of the products that he wants to buy he may check for the other products also that are identical to that one that are similar to that one okay so we are going to show the similar products so uh, let's start we are going to update the detail function for this one uh, in products controller in front open the detail function and here uh, you can see uh, that uh, we are going to make one more array one more related products okay uh, so i'm going to take it here here i will add the command as well get uh, related or similar products get similar products so see related products or similar products one and the same thing okay don't get confused similar products or related product one one and the same thing and we have worked on the related products earlier on as well okay this is the same thing so get similar products uh, we are going to add the variable for it here i'm going to make similar products okay product uh, so here uh, see uh, we are going to attach brand also as you can see in listing pages we are attaching the brand with the product okay so see here we are going to take help from the listing page products see in the listing page products this box that you are watching this is the same box that we want to show here okay it is the same box so everything that appear here like this breadcrumbs this product name this price image is similar okay so uh, here what we are doing here we are uh, just adding the brand here uh, so that we can show the brand as well here you can see the gap arrow d other things are the product name as well as the color okay that uh, sorry product name product code and color that are coming from the products table and this brand only we are not showing the category category we are already showing at the top here in the listing pages so here the similar things we are going to show here also okay same thing we are going to show so for making the same layout we are going to attach the brand only that we require with the product okay so what i am going to do i am going to add the brand also with product okay uh, so other than that uh, we are going to use the where condition so that we can get the same category product okay like i have uh, explained you that we are going to get the same category product and for that uh, we are going to uh, pick the same category see in product details we have the category id 
you can check in products table in every products table we are having the category id so we can pick the, this category id okay so we are going to pick this category id and it will come like this category id okay so we need to make sure that it is coming like this because i am not sure see here is the relation category uh, so it's better if we are going to uh, use this one if we are going to debug our code okay i think it will come like this like the category here and its id its id will come in another element like this one id i think it must work like this but even then uh, we are going to check once i am going to close this one otherwise it will show error okay i am going to do like this and uh, we'll check what is coming here how our array uh, will come here see this is our array so it will be clear to us that how we can get the category id see it's under category then id okay so i can do one thing i can open this one in new tab so that we can uh, see here whenever we want always do like this that will help you okay so i will just comment now this one and we'll check once again okay so now see now i will uh, use uh, that one that i have got category id it is fine okay so now one more thing we need to do here that uh, this similar product must not equal to this product means that uh, we are not going to show this product this main product here in similar products okay because the user has already seen this product so we want to show the different similar products not the same one okay so for that uh, we will also add the condition for this thing here uh, simple enough uh, that condition is where id is not equal to which id dollar id okay dollar id we are already getting of the current product here you can see the dollar id we are already getting okay so also see here we just want to show uh, one two three four only four products okay not more than four okay uh, i think uh, if some script is there then it's fine okay what we can do we can first uh, show uh, six products or eight products then we will uh, again set the limit for this one okay so here uh, i am going to show the i think it limit start from zero one two three maybe okay so i'm going to show here six for the time being then i will reduce if i require to reduce okay let's see and i want to show in random order then i for random order for randomly showing the products i will use the random order okay and i want to uh, make it an array so i'm going to make it like array two array like this okay so this similar products i want to use like this okay so uh, i will open the detail bit file now let's see so first of all we are going to debug this one that we are getting the similar products or not okay uh, i forgot to debug like this in the same way we are going to debug this one okay let's see if we are getting how many and similar products see we don't have enough products we are having just i think four five products okay no issue we are going to check here oh we can check here as well but okay it's fine see four ids are coming four similar products are coming here you can see okay we are we have got the array of the four products see four products are coming here in similar products and because we have only four so that's why only four are coming okay a one two three four so if i will set the limit for three i will i'm going to check that how many it comes it comes three okay so we are going to set the limit as four so that it will come as four okay it starts from see it starts from zeroth element because it is the array element but here in limit it will take it as four only okay it will not start from zero limit means it is going to start from the one okay if you want the one result then limit one if you want the two then limit two we want the four then limit four okay so now uh okay so now uh we are going our query is ready so these similar products we have already passed to the detail and there we need to uh make changes and for each loop we require 
to show the similar products okay we are going to search where we are displaying here we are displaying okay so first of all we need to check where we are required to add the loop uh, okay so item container this one item content item this one okay here here we require the loop okay so what we are going to do we are going to add here for each loop okay related products uh, that similar products for each loop as dollar product and for each okay so here uh, what i am doing uh, remove this one okay only one required now it is fine okay so now see uh, first of all uh, we are going to show the image and for that we are going to open the listing bit file as well ajax listing but i think ajax uh, product listing this one uh, so that we can copy here in the same way uh, like uh, uh, first thing is we are going to show that image uh, so for showing the image here uh, we are going to check how we are showing the image here here it is product image path so we are going to copy this one okay and uh, we are going to paste here uh, in place of image just check that class class image flute uh so it seems we find same class okay i'm going to replace it with this one because here you can see uh we have the product same same thing everything is same okay so this code will work don't do again and again and this link will also work okay i hope this will work so here i will replace this one with this okay so first of all we are going to check here then we will move further see here we have got the similar products you can see the images of the other products okay so it is working fine okay so in the same way uh, we are going to check our listing page and here we want to show these breadcrumbs in the same way as well so for showing the breadcrumbs in the same way we are just required to search for the breadcrumb uh, here so that we can replace it code remain the same box remain the same so that's why I am doing it like this okay uh, so this ul complete ul we are going to replace here and let's check uh, okay so it must work fine we can check this one and also the product name along with the url we can replace the product name along with the url as well okay so this one uh, we can also copy and we can replace it like this and and uh, other than this uh, this uh, star rating we can comment here like uh, we have commented this one in the listing page as well when we'll work on reviews then we are going to uncomment it and we'll work on it and the get price get price again we can copy this one this uh, get discount price code we can copy and we can replace it this price template here you can see the class remain the same okay so we can replace this one as well i hope it will work fine okay so let's see let's see here uh, okay so it is working fine you can see the products uh, prices are coming fine products uh, name are coming fine here you can see the product code color and brand is also coming fine with images and the links are also coming fine like if you are going to click on this one green product the green product is opening here okay with all the, the information and if you are going to open this one then this product is opening so it is working fine we able to show the similar products okay so uh, see you can try this one at your end i hope that you will not get any error and it is simple enough okay so in the next video we are going to work on the recently viewed items okay that is bit uh, more work we need to do but uh, we are going to do that okay so don't worry in the next video we will work on detail bit once again for the recently viewed items so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye